Hey, what is going on guys? This is ZK and today I'm doing a video on terrain editing. Now, terrain editing, if you don't know what that is, that is the ability to create hills or like, like, I don't know, what's the other? Opposite of hills, can't think. Can't think of it. Okay, I'll show you later. But anyway, hills and the opposite of hills. Can't think of the word. Oh my goodness. Okay, um, before I start this tutorial, I just want to let you know that uh, when you're making a terrain, you need to have your uh, two-dimensional view facing down onto the flat terrain, okay? If you have it like this, okay, that's not going to work. You have it like this, not going to work. It has to be like this. Otherwise, it'll try to do a terrain on a different axis, and you don't want that. So we are going to do it on this axis. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to need to go to patch and simple terrain patch. Now width and height right here, uh, this is going to be how many, oh, it's, it's hard to explain unless you've seen it. I'm just going to do 10 by 10. Uh, that's generally what you want to do. Any more than that is a lot, but and, you know if you're making a huge terrain patch then you know whatever. But I'm going to hit OK and as soon as you hit OK it's going to create 10 by 10 lines going across. Um, so yeah, that's uh, best I can describe it. And uh, each point right here, like that, that is going to be how you can make your hills. So I can bring that point up, and I'm going to show you how to do that in just a second. So another thing that I want to mention before is uh, it becomes completely flat. Once you create a terrain patch, it's not thick anymore. It's completely flat, and it's invisible from this way. Like if you look down underneath and look up, it's completely invisible, even in game, it's invisible. But if you look this way, it's completely fine. So that's what it looks like completely flat. And when you select it, okay, you got all this stuff. Now push V on your keyboard, V on the keyboard. Okay, and if you didn't, I don't know if you can tell or not, but uh, a bunch of little colorful boxes just appeared. And those colorful boxes are on each each uh, little part here where the lines intersect. So you're going to have uh, purple and green boxes on each of those spots. And those are the pl ways that you can move the terrain. So let me just show you how to do that really quick. Use your mouse and left click and you can bring this blue box up in here and you can select them. And when you select them, they'll turn bright blue. Just a nice royal blue. And uh, to, in order to move them, hold down Alt on your keyboard and use your left left clicking mouse and you can bring it up and down like this. So that is how you terrain edit, just like that. So you can see I just made a nice little hill. So that's cool. Um, another thing that you can do with this besides that, um, and let me just do a little more examples. You can bring it up like that and up like that and up like that. There, now I have a nice little hill. And you can also, you know, select it and bring it down and down and down. Remember, you have to hold down Alt for all of this. You have to hold down Alt, otherwise it, you know, doesn't doesn't do anything. So, um, another useful thing, uh, you're going to run into this a lot, is you're going to accidentally do this all the time. After you're pushing V on your keyboard, you're going to try to push Shift and right click, or Shift and left click, sorry. When you do that, okay, you're going to select the entire row. You can see on my two-dimensional view here that I just selected this entire row, okay? And if you do it again, you'll select this entire row. So what I'm doing is I'm holding Shift and left clicking on this one right here. And by clicking each time, I'm just selecting these two different ways. And that that is uh, very helpful, I think, because if you click once and I can bring up this entire section, if you look on my three-dimensional view, I can bring up this entire section. Whereas if I click it again, I can bring up this entire section. So you can just mess around with that. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. And uh, the most useful thing about, okay, okay, um, let me just explain one more thing here. On this terrain, you cannot, like when you make a normal box like this, okay? And uh, I've told you this in another video where you can make these two lines like that. So you can cut the cut the box in half. So you can see here now that I have a, the box is cut in half. You can't do that with the, with this terrain. See, if I make that, it, it just deselects it. You can't make those two points and try to cut it in half. It doesn't work. So in order to cut terrain patches in half, push V on your keyboard and open up your, your, uh, to opens up all these little colorful boxes. Sorry if I don't know the actual name. But uh, then you want to hit shift and left click and you can select, like here's your line. That's the line that you can cut in half. So you can cut this section here apart from this section. In order to do that, hit control, shift, X. Okay, and down here it says split patches. So now I can deselect it and now I can select, oh wait, maybe it didn't, yeah it did, it worked. 
There we go. Okay. So now you can see that I split the patch in half. So now we have two separate sections. And that allows you to, like, if you wanted to make a hole or something like that, that allows you to do something like this, where now we actually have a hole in our patch. So we can just... Uh, let me do this one more time. There we go. So now we have a hole in our patch, and you can only do that after splitting the patch. So let me do it one more time. Um, let me click there. Uh, no, I want to split it this way. Actually, let's do it down here. Split it that way. Control Shift X. There. Now we just split this patch and this patch apart. So let's make this hole a little more interesting. Oops. Accident. I just accidentally copied that. Yeah, I still have it copied. There we go. Okay, um, let me do that again. There we go. Woo! Now we have our epic terrain patch. And I keep hitting the wrong keys on the keyboard. Wow. Okay, so there we go, guys. That's about all I have for my terrain editing video. Make sure you keep in touch because I'll have having, uh, some more videos on how to do, like, cylinders and uh, cones. And those definitely add some. And if you don't know what cylinder is, uh, it's like a round. It's a circle, Okay. Get your, get your math down, guys. All right. All right. Thank you for watching, guys. And make sure you head over to Facebook.com, Twitter.com to uh, give me a follow and a like. Links to those will be in the description. Hit that subscribe button if you have the time for all these things. If you don't, I completely understand. And I will see you on my next video. This is ZK signing off.